composition of trig functions is a way to take something really ugly like this and turn it into a function of x that you can then do further math on. Uh, it comes in handy a lot when you're trying to take a derivative or an integral of some nasty uh, trig function like that. So the first thing that you're going to do is look at what's in the brackets. Here we have the cosine of the arc sine of x. So we pull the arc sine of x out and when you're taking the arc sine of anything it's just going to give you an angle. That's just the way that the trig works. You take the arc sine of some ratio of the sides and it gives you an angle. Same way the other way around, you take the sine of an angle and it gives you a ratio of the sides, which for sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So here we've taken arc sine of x and we just called it theta. This is just some angle. You don't have to call it theta. You can call it anything you like. Here we're going to call it theta. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to put it on a triangle, just like that. So we've taken our theta and we've put it here. Uh, you can put it here if you like, it doesn't matter, it'll give you the same answer as long as you're following your trig rules. So how do we determine where we want these things? Well, we have the sine of theta equals x, and the sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so we need the opposite over the hypotenuse to equal x. So here's our angle, our opposite is x, hypotenuse is 1, x over 1 is x. That works. So how did I get this? Well, you got to use Pythagoras' theorem. So we've just taken the square root of 1 squared minus x squared to give you that one. Next thing we're going to do is we're just going to take our original equation, just bring it down here. That's uh, cosine of the arc sine of x. But remember, we found that the arc sine of x is just some angle theta. So we're really taking the cosine of theta, which you go back to the triangle to figure out. And cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So our adjacent is our square root of 1 minus x squared over the hypotenuse of 1. So there's your answer, square root of 1 minus x squared. Now let's look at another example. This one on the surface looks a little bit more complicated, but it's actually exactly the same thing. Here we have cosecant of the arctangent of x squared. Now, same exact thing. We're going to take out what's in the brackets. We have the arctangent of x squared equals theta. x squared doesn't matter. You're still taking the arctangent of a ratio of the sides, which gives you an angle. In this case, the ratio equals x squared. This can be anything. I've seen much uglier ones than this, and I didn't want to uh, annoy you with a whole bunch of algebra, so I've taken the, a basic example of something that you'll, you'll see. It can be a little bit more complicated if you get like a x squared plus 4x plus 2. It happens. It's ugly, but it's the same procedure. Don't worry about it if you see it. Just follow the rules and you'll get the right answer. So we have arctangent of x squared is theta, so that means the tangent of theta equals x squared. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to put this on a triangle. We've taken our theta and put it here, and we need the tangent of theta to equal x squared and tangent is opposite over adjacent. So our opposite is x squared and our adjacent is 1. So that satisfies this. And again, we're just going to use Pythagoras to find this one. And this is where I've seen a lot of mistakes made because you get used to these ones where you have an x squared here and you just automatically write x squared. But you can't do that because Pythagoras, you have to square these terms. So it's 1 squared plus x squared squared, which gives you square root of 1 plus x to the fourth over here. Most people, when they make a mistake, they'll write x squared there. So just be mindful of that when you're doing this. Now we're going to bring back down the original equation, cosecant of the arctangent of x squared. And we found that arctangent of x squared is just an angle theta. So we're going to take the cosecant of theta, which if you haven't seen that before, cosecant is just 1 over the sine of theta. So if we were to take the sine of this, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, that would be x squared over the square root of 1 plus x to the 4. But we have 1 over that, so we just flip it. And we get square root of 1 plus x to the 4 over x squared. That's your final answer. Math isn't so hard when you have the right tutor. Be sure to check out the description for links to other courses and topics. Also remember to tell your friends about the Kfoley channel.